Hi guys, my name is Emily and today I'm going to talk about John Wyndham's The Day of the Triffids, which you can see here in this beautiful cover. When I was a kid I read my mum's copy of The Chrysalids by John Wyndham and I loved it. I was browsing a bookstore and I saw this beautiful, beautiful cover and then I noticed who it was by and I decided I had to buy it. Purely based on the cover. Yes, I know. Terrible, right? This is the story of Bill Mason, a man who is in the hospital having some stuff done on his eyes and his eyes are bandaged during the time of this massive fantastic comet or so they think. Everyone's talking about how great the comet is, how beautiful the comet is. Oh gosh, it's so bad that you can't see the comet because you, you know, you had surgery and your eyes are covered and he's like, darn, I'm missing the thing of the lifetime because I was stupid enough to have this accident happen to me and now I'm missing out on it. And then he finds out that whatever the comet was, whatever, you know, the pretty lights, blinded everyone. Except for the few people who had the odd circumstance or the odd situation in which they were not watching this phenomenon in the night sky. The people who didn't see the comet have their vision and so society basically falls apart. And in addition to the sighted people taking different approaches to how to survive, there are also the triffids, which are probably man-made, genetically engineered plants that are carnivorous and can walk. So, you know, that complicates life for him a little bit. And I don't want to say anymore because it's really good. It was a really good book. I guess because I don't want to ruin any of the plot, I'm, I want to tell you about my feelings. My feelings about this book. It's obviously kind of a dystopia, but it wasn't super predictable. And I know that sounds funny, but the whole dystopia thing has really picked up recently and it's, it's very now. Dystopia is very now. I find sometimes that they can get a little repetitive and a little boring, but Obviously this was published in 1951, so you know, it's not part of the recent dystopia craze. There are definitely some elements that are very similar to our current dystopias, like the beginning of this book and the beginning of The Walking Dead. At least The Walking Dead television show, that's the only part of The Walking Dead I'm familiar with. Very similar. Our characters both start out in hospitals and kind of wake up to this apocalypse and disaster and chaos. I really like the writing in this book. I don't know if it's because it's older or because it's British or a little bit of both, but the way things were phrased, they were very interesting. They were very fun to read, but they also had me concentrating a bit because there were certain things that were strung together that I you don't hear all the time anymore or ever in Canada, maybe. I don't know. The writing was really interesting and really exciting because it isn't what I'm used to reading all the time. Like, it, it reads different. It sounds different. And the distinct voice of Bill Mason is what made this so much fun to read. Like, I really felt... Like, I knew him a little bit because he felt so unique. I don't know what I gave this on Goodreads, but right now, thinking about it, thinking about the experience, thinking about how they've recommended it to basically every person that's asked me for a book recommendation in the past three weeks, I'm gonna give this a five stars. I really think that this is worth it. I feel like if you like dystopia, if you're really in on the dystopian craze, this might be something fun. It's short, which is nice. It's not a super huge investment. And it's not super dry either. I know 1984 is a dystopian classic. It's okay. I liked 1984, but I didn't feel as attached to the characters or to the plotline of 1984 as I felt to Bill Mason. And I just, I wanted to find out what happened. I had to find out what happened. I would highly, highly recommend that you check this out. If you have read this, let me know what you think below. So thank you for watching and I will see you again soon. Bye.